Hey, what's up everybody, Retro Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we're going to do a full demo and review of this 15.6 inch portable monitor with a built-in kickstand on the back. So we're going to open this up. We're going to go over all the functions and features externally on this monitor. And then I'm gonna connect it to my gaming PC and run some retro video games through it so we can get a better feel for the performance of this monitor. So let's dive into it. All right, so opening this up, you can see we have this soft case right here, which is awesome for storage or traveling with this. Here is the monitor itself, and we're gonna just flip this over, take a quick look at the back here because we do have this little kickstand. So I'm going to just put the entire monitor aside right now using that kickstand, and we'll check out what else is included inside our packaging. So looks like we have our user manual right here, really nicely laid out. Bunch of you can ask questions on this side, walks through all of the contents of what is included in here. And then of course, our various um, setup options here at how we would connect different devices, also lays out what each of the ports are and all the external features. So we're gonna keep that handy. Moving on, we have our warranty card here. So really awesome thing about this is you have 30 days for a full money back guarantee, 90 days for full replacement, and then there's some additional warranties beyond that. So that's awesome to have. So in here we have this additional stand, which gives you the ability to actually have different settings. So you can see down here where you could put your monitor in here and adjust different pitches that you would put this at. So if you want to have additional options from what you just have standard on the back of this monitor, this gives you a bunch of those. So we'll actually set this aside. I'm going to actually use this because I do love the features of having those different um, points where you can you know, adjust the uh, pitch of your screen. So here we come, so here we have a bunch of additional cables. So we have full HDMI, looks like a type C, our power supply cable, and then of course, this would be for our um, wall outlet here to actually power this. I'm gonna put all of this aside for right now. I'm going to pull the monitor over and we'll take a closer look at the functions and features of that externally. All right, so here is our monitor. I'm gonna just turn this to the side here and you can see our kickstand in the back working really nicely. I love that kickstand. It's super uh, convenient to just have that and not have to worry about this being on its back. Um, so we're gonna take a look at the side ports over here. So just gonna try to angle it so you can see better. Right there seems to be good. A little bit hard because it's black on black, but up at the top we have our audio connection. So that's our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port if we'd like to use it for headphones. Up here we have USB type C followed by another USB type C. And the first one is going to be power. Second one is going to be for data. And then we have our regular HDMI port right there. So if we're connecting this to a game console or PC, we would just go ahead and take the HDMI from the back of our device, plug it directly in here, move the input over, and we'd be able to display everything right here on this monitor. So you can see really nice movement if you're moving this on a desk. Um, it's not super glossy in terms of the bottom of this kickstand, but it is rubber. So nice thing about that is it grips, but it also enables you to actually slide this. It's just like a controlled slide, which is awesome. So over here on the right hand side now, so now on this side, and I'll move this in again so you can see it, try to get it on the angle. We have this larger button up here. This is to go through our different menu options in here, and we can do this to adjust brightness controls, volume controls, all that is gonna be off of this larger button for those functions. Right below that, we have our power button, so we'll be able to power this on and off that way. And then we have a USB 3 port right here. So everything is really easy to access. Really not much on the uh, back, but it does outline with some icons what each of those functions is used for. So we will go ahead and set this up. I'm going to connect it to my gaming PC and we're going to actually play some games on here and see what the quality of the performance of this monitor is like. Oh, 
All right, guys, we jumped in here. We did some gameplay demos, but we first looked at the functions and features that can be found on this portable monitor externally. And there's tons of great stuff here. We have that USB 3 on the side, which will come in handy. We have the full HDMI, which is how I connected my gaming PC to this. And you can see what the picture looks like on here. The resolution is out of this world. And remember, I'm filming this externally. I'm not doing a screen capture, so I'm not recording in the same resolution that this displays in. We're gonna lose a little resolution there just because of the way I'm recording this. So just know that in person, this looks 10 times better than it does on screen. And I still think it looks really good on screen for you guys. But um, this is 1920 by 1080 in terms of resolution. But again, looks really great. And if you're using it for retro video games, this is more than enough resolution to get everything displaying beautifully on screen. But the biggest takeaway from this and the biggest um, advantage is that built-in kickstand on the back. I've got tons of portable monitors here that I've gotten over the years. And in all honesty, I don't take any of them out because they're so inconvenient to take on the go because they don't have a built-in kickstand like this. You have to have those external stands, which are fine, but I always forget to take the damn things with me. It becomes an inconvenience. And then you have to find a surface where you can actually sit everything down and have it be level in order for it to be safe and secure. And it's still not as secure as something like this that is built in. Plus you can hold it like I am right now. This is super light. This is two fingers you can see that holds the whole thing up. I'm not straining or anything. It's really light. The entire thing is less than a pound. So you could hold it just like this if you're watching the game on here or, you know, gaming would be, obviously you don't want to hold it if you're gaming, but, um, you know, you could do a bunch of things on here. If you're watching YouTube, you can just hold it simply like this. Uh, you're obviously going to have to connect your cables over here to your PC or console, whatever you're using it with, but everything is laid out in a way where it just makes sense. I've seen some where your connections are down here and then you go to put it on a surface and everything is cramped at the bottom. So everything's on the side here. Really a lot of thought went into this build. Um, the quality is all there. It's not a cheap plastic monitor. Most of, actually, in fact, all of my monitors that I have here are cheap plastic, which makes them lightweight, but it also makes them a lot less durable. In this case, we're lightweight, but it's definitely made extremely well, safe and secure. Um, you know, I'm not at all worried about this breaking. Obviously, I'm not going to be throwing it around or being rough with it, but really nicely made, really great quality. The audio quality is great. I've dealt with other monitors in the past where the audio quality only goes up to a certain level, um, and it's usually good on softer levels, but I had this cranked up, and it definitely gets pretty loud. So that was awesome about this too, but um, I also use that external stand for the um, gameplay portion of this, just because I wanted to get a different pitch where I was eliminating some of the glare that I typically get, both because I have overhead lights as well as the light behind the camera here. And no matter where I put this, I always get a significant amount of glare. Of course, if it's facing me and the camera's over here, it's not so bad, but if it's facing dead on, you see the amount of glare that we get on there. So the fact that we can pitch it and different pitches with that external stand makes it great for um, videoing and stuff like that, which typically most people aren't doing, but it's something that for me is a big benefit as well. So just something to consider if you do intend on ever doing any sort of external videos of the screen that you're using it on here, um, that definitely comes in handy, but just the convenience of this is a slam dunk in my opinion. And then the fact that we have great picture quality, great build quality is an absolute home run on top of that. So highly recommend this. Again, this is a 15.6 inch screen. So really a good size screen. And again, the fact that we have it being so lightweight and convenient to use at that great size um, is just absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video. I'll also put one up here on the top of your screen. It'll only last briefly though. So click it if you want some additional information on this particular 15.6 inch portable monitor. But that's gonna do it for today giving it a solid thumbs up here. Really happy with this. Usually I don't hold on to um, most of the products that I do reviews on just because I don't need tons of products here and they end up just kind of stacking up and I end up with a ton of stuff. But this particular one I'm keeping. I'm, I think that it's just awesome. I'm constantly on the go and need something like this. So I'm keeping it. It's going to stay right here with me. But again, information, link up there, link in the description and if you enjoyed this video and you found the information helpful, give me a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, 
hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.